We're here at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center for a program called the Owl Prowl. Yes, I do. And we're just here to learn the types of owls that live in our area, um, what they sound like, what they look like, a little bit about them, and then we'll see if we can find some out on our trails. Surrounding the Nature Center and in Stone Park, I've seen three. I've seen the screech owl, um, the barred owl, and the great horn. So those will be the three that we can try to call for once we go outside. We have 14 vertebrae in their neck. That's twice what we have in our necks. They say that if we had eyes kind of proportioned to owls, they'd be about as big as tennis balls. <laughs> Most birds have the really stiff edges to their feathers, and then owls have really soft, frayed edges so that it kind of um, quiets the sound a little bit. So quiet. Sometimes you just don't even know that they're there. I remember uh, one time at a campfire, we were all sitting around the campfire, an owl flew right over us, and none of us heard it until it was right overhead. For hunting, they eat all sorts of things. Mostly rodents, insects. The little screech owls love moths and June bugs, other types of insects. Feathers come all the way down to those nails. Part of that, they believe, is due to nocturnal versus diurnal or daytime. Feathers help keep the feet warmer. We didn't see any. We heard one, and not sure which kind it was, but we did hear one. Okay. Oh, the screech owl. Yeah. Okay. Here we just come out for a relaxing, uh, fun night. 